Welcome to SK Beat TV. My name is Apostle Pokofi Ejikum. Greetings to SK Beat and um, K Beat and the rest of the team. Um, to me here today is Mrs. Ejikum. Um, she has a special message of peace to all Ghanaians for the general election. So let's hear her with the message of peace to all Ghanaians in Ghana who are going to vote. This is Mr. Sajikum. I stand for peace. Mm. And I wish peace election. Mm. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Yes, that is the message from the horse's own mouth. That is what the mother is saying to all of us, that peace is more important than anything in this world. Let me tell you this. Do you know that the way the world is going, Ghanaians, most Ghanaians in America and Europe are eager to come home? I'm telling you, if you know what is going on in Asia, you will really believe with us that it is time for us to pray for peace, work towards peace, and make sure to do whatever it takes to develop our own Ghana and not to bring confusion or political war or travel war or whatever confusion. So please, on the base of this message from our mother, Mrs. Sejikun, known as Mokase Hima, let us all go and cast our vote in confidence without any domestic or political violence and maintain peace so that Ghana will continue to attract local and foreign investors. God bless you. Continue to subscribe. SK Beach. I just want to finish up with something. Mm, okay. Hmm. I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Um. Which party are you voting for this year? Which party am I voting for? Yes. Well, you should rather say which party are we really voting for. Well, like we discussed earlier the other time, uh, we are voting for the same party. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I changed my mind. I have my own choice of party. Did I get you right? Mm -hmm. You have changed your mind. Yes. Well, <laughs> whatever decision I make is final. So if you are voting for the same party, you and I, we are voting for, for that same party. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I think I'm joking here. Listen, whatever party that I choose, both of us, we are voting for that party. Whether you like it or not, put it in that thinking head of yours. Are you really serious about what you are saying? You look like a joker, missus. No, wait. Are you trying to be autocratic here? What I say is final. It's not final. You can't be deciding for me always. I have my own right to choose whatever party I want, okay? Sherry, are you walking out on me? Sherry! 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 How dare you walk out on me? Are you crazy? Is something wrong with you? Is something wrong with you? This is Doc. Yeah. Emergency. Okay, then I'm on my way. I'm coming. Alright. Doctor! Doctor! How is my wife? What's my wife? Follow me to the office. Please have a seat. Doctor. Yes, sir. Please, what's my wife's condition? Hey. Mr. Mann, I'm very, very disappointed in you. Your actions went wayward. 
but i don't see the need or the reason why you should even beat your wife over a political issue who to vote for what came over you doctor frankly speaking i wasn't of myself i could have even reported the case to the police for them to arrest you no need to go there please doctor please it's, it's my wife okay please it's my wife okay hmm. what's that Felicia? I have a good news for you and one way or the other, another bad news. Let me start with the bad news. Your wife had a miscarriage, so you lost your baby. And fortunately for you, your wife is okay and probably we are hoping that you could get another chance and get a baby. And that's the good news. But, um, in general, your actions were not good at all. It shouldn't happen again. You see, when it comes to elections or who to vote for, it's an exercise of your right. And you can't enforce someone just because you are married to the person or you have control over the person's life. No. It's a person's decision to choose who he or she votes for. So don't impose your decision on them. You see, democracy is a battle of minds. So when people decide to vote for people, it's their right. Allow them. So the fact that the person is your wife now, your wife had a miscarriage. So if she's not giving birth again, it's whose problem? It's your problem. My advice to you all is to say no to election violence. Respect people's decision. I pledge for peace and I stand for peace. Hmm. Hello everybody, my name is Samson and I pledge for a peaceful election. I'm Sherry and I pledge for peace. Hi Ghana, this is Iben Ojo. Peace be still, say no to election violence. Hi Ghana, my name is Kibit Spianos. Yeah, I pledge for peace. January to December. Obamba would be a bomb in the hour, dear mommy. No me ever say. Why you need ever say? Monday to Sunday. What they may call you now, what they may be now. No me ever say. All right, what should I render to you? What the faith is you've done? I'm proceeding. 